Youths of today are like strawberries. Growing up pampered and overprotected, and they bruise easily. So what is it like for teachers to work with them? What are the challenges of working with this new generation? Three teachers who have just graduated from NIE and one of their lecturers weigh in on this discussion, which is the first part of our special education report. We have in the studio Irene Ho, Gideon Tan, Jonathan Yu and Norman Key. First up, what are the traits of the strawberry generation of students? They're very tech savvy. They um, learn very fast as far as uh, techni technical stuff is concerned. Well, I think uh, the strawberry generation are what we call new media natives, whereby mm -hmm. they are so used to this um, concept of expressing their views um, behind uh, the view of a computer screen. So sometimes they get too used to that and they sort of lack interpersonal skills at a real level. Sometimes they get very disengaged. Um, during lessons mm -hmm. and we need to actually constantly think of yeah. innovative ways to actually keep them engaged and um, interested in the lesson itself. Mm -hmm. So having said that, I think this generation of students, they are really creative and they do dream big. Uh, however, they lack the determination to you know, uh, pursue whatever they dream of. Norman Key, a lecturer at the National Institute of Education who prepares new teachers for their career, explains that students today are a more sensitive bunch. Generally, this, this uh, group of uh, people, they are uh, brought up under ideal conditions. Mm -hmm. So, the social economic status uh, of a lot of the parents are, are good. So, they don't actually suffer much hardship. Mm -hmm. So, they, they in, a, in a way, they take for granted the progress and the prosperity. So, as a lecturer teaching this group of students, uh, we need to be very sensitive. We need to know their, their social cultural upbringing. They need to build very good rapport with them. Mm. If you can click with them, and then you can more or less uh, uh, have a good rapport with them, you can uh, associate with them very well, what happens is that you can really reach out to them. But you have to be very sensitive with your words, mm. careful about your words, mm. and sensitive about their feelings. Uh. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, they're called the strawberry generation also because people tend to say they are easily bruised, you know, <laughs> be their ego or whatsoever, you know. So, can you share with us, you know, some tips then on how to better connect with the strawberry generation? Well, one of them is that uh, maybe to expose also our own vulnerab vulnerability is that uh, we ourselves can also be bruised. Mm -hmm. So, when we actually share that we are actually human mm -hmm. and humane, and that uh, we also can be bruised also this way they, they can serve you better. Yeah. And, and by honest, frank sharing of uh, some of our own life situations, mm -hmm. then you can, they can actually uh, connect with you. So I had to keep myself um, uh, well versed with the lingo that they speak. Not that I use them in class, but you know, sometimes when I need to illustrate certain points, I will just um, inject my conversation with some of these lingo and then they will find that, oh, okay, a uh, teacher understands us maybe words like thingy and all that mm. and they would, they would be quite shocked it's like hey oh you mean my teacher also speaks this way it's they, 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 the, the distance is being uh, the social distance is being narrowed because of that I, I felt it's about really engaging them but by first winning their hearts first mm. like through maybe the use of the lingo so what I recently learned is something like a boss so yeah. I think it's we it's like a form of exchange as well. They learn from us and we learn from them and it's constantly evolving. So, I mean, if you really do enjoy teaching this group of students, I think it is appropriate that we actually learn what they, how they think and the way they speak in order that we, so as to communicate to them better, but not compromising the mm. rigour of, um, of the academic yeah. itself. But are the efforts of the teachers sufficient to meet the demands and expectations of students today? We find out next. <laughs> 